with some powerful items. I, I think this is actually the slipperiest course in the game. I think it it's actually way more slipperier than any other course. I think Calamari Desert is close to it, but it's ridiculous. I, I played it once during the NA Open, and I said I will never want to wish this track on anyone else. I did not ever realize how insanely slippery it was. So two things. Brat said, did you try the Rosalina drink? Is it good? Unfortunately, Brat, I have not. And also, too, I played the winter version of this track today. Now, one of the reasons we're saying that is because the seasons can change on this track. It's, one of, it's a dynamic track where the season can kind of dictate the, the nature of the map a little bit. And there's winter, spring, fall, and summer, obviously. So I played this on 200cc. I actually drove into a wall and choked to first place. But luckily, you know, I was able to get third. But in the 150 environment, you either got to bag, get some powerful items, or you got to run for your life here in this one. Yeah, it, it's quite interesting because I, I, I kind of wish that other tracks also had the dynamic, you know, uh, kind of seasons. I think that would be fun, having a summertime and wintertime map for, like, every single one. In my opinion, I think it would be kind of kind of fun to have that enabled. I am streaming Siege, jumping over, over the, the fire, fire, and it hit their green shell dragging defense. What an absolute insane move, actually. And did be there, avoiding that back of the green. Zaddy long legs here, moving up from second into or fourth into second, rather, dropping some of the fire. Oh, but unfortunately, the blue shell is going to track on to him. Wasn't aware that that player dropped out. And now, because of that, it's a drag race up here at the front as Zaddy Longlegs going back to ninth. Taco Cat now in the oh. picture. Takes a little bit too wide of the turn there. And now things are getting a little bit interesting. Yeah, it really is. Coming down to this final section of Animal Crossing, Green Shell comes out, isn't going to be able to bounce to that first place player. Zabgo with 10 coins, you're seeing it already catching up from these drifts. Ankles though, also with those 10 coins, avoids it with the drag, was not able to grab that double defense though. Let's see what Zabgo's gonna be able to do here. They have the opportunity and they take it, uses the red, shot comes out, and that is gonna be a Zabgo first place finish. I like the strategy there from Zabgo. He was using the X button to see what third place had. He threw the red before Ankles went into that item box and then capitalized on that second red. And Ankles, unfortunately, didn't get any defense to negate that second red. So it was all over for Ankles there. But well, good or good read, I guess, from Zavgo. Very aggressive play, but it paid off for him. It really did. Almost missed the opportunity there with uh, Ankles almost being there at the finish line. But still was able to pull off the red shell. The shock also saving Zavgo there as we saw that other competitor coming by with the air horn, which unfortunately got counted by the shock so really crazy stuff already really nail-biting last podium finish but let's see where we're gonna be going next night what track do you want to see Twisted Mansion. Yeah. <laughs> I Toad like Toad Party. Circuit. There's right. actually a way that you can run Toad Circuit and win. Yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's I actually pretty ridiculous. I enjoy this track a lot because I do you too. can do some really goofy things to give you some slight advantages to help you run this track or you can just bag and have a great time. Yeah, one or the other. Just don't stay in the middle because that's just going to make your life a little bit miserable. But it let's does. see what happens here. We're on board with Jack Uars, who didn't have the best finish. You can see his starting spot there a little bit in the back. But plenty of time to catch up and make something happen for him. It's going to be Siege taking the whole shot here in this one. And you can hear the crowd. <laughs> I love it. I love oh, it. Great. Uh, we got Jack Uars, though, going to be able to drag that red shell right behind him. Double, uh, some really nice item pulls here as we've got Bonnie snooping in on the caster's booth right now. Uh, we got uh, I, uh, Siege here being able to drag that red shell, doing an amazing job here in second place at this point. Sees the donkey on right behind him, that's gonna be Big B, bumping them out of the way and then goes into the off-road because of the bad trap. Drop it all the way down to sixth place. Ankles and Zavgo are gonna be the two Waluigi's there in the back, hard bagging. Doesn't look like they're having any luck here at the moment, but we don't know. Things could change here on a dime. Daddy Longlegs moving off of Wendy onto King Boo, watching some grow greens flying here. Got to watch out for Taco Cat and respect his green there here in fourth place. And Whoa. now we do see on the side, that's Ariel. Can he get the snipe? Wow, Whoa. ricochet from Taco Cat. But Taco Cat goes, goes down with the bomb. There's a plan on the right-hand side. Daddy Longlegs moving away from it. First place, kind of checked out right now. Uh, number three, that's going to be... Uh, I believe that is, I cannot check right now, that's going to be Ankles right now in pod number three. Going to opt that air horn. Going to have a red shell, though. Let's see what they're going to be able to do with this. Going to get rid of it, though. Third place, Jackie Wars, though, in first. Is going to be able to grab 15 points. Their point total, Ankles grabbing second. 
I think Batter Cookie also made a decent run, probably getting fourth there. Cass able to hang on there for third, so great job there. But we're seeing the Siege fans here in the Twitch chat, and I'm really curious as well. Siege fourth in that first race, so could be in Blow. the uh, in the green right now. It depends on how Siege finished there in race number two, but. Man, we're seeing a lot of different strategies. It looks like the bagging did end up working, but you did see just how much of a run Jack Uars had. And having that racing sense, Jack Uars, you know, being a former champion, kind of took advantage of just let everybody kill kill themselves behind him. Yeah, I was talking to Jack Uars a few times where I just talk about how I like to race is just the fundamentals, using whatever you can to give yourself the best possible advantage. And that's how Jack Uars plays. You know what? Going back, repick up the century. We're going to Mary Mountain. But Jack Uars is a very fundamentals by the basic book. Do not you're seeing him. He doesn't do anything insane. He just races, grabs 10 coins, and uses extremely good item management. And I gotta give a round of applause to Jackie Wars because of that consistency and that fundamentals just shows, hey, you don't have to do a lot of crazy things. You gotta just race well and get around the chaos, and you can run these tracks and against these racers. Very disciplined player indeed. Zob going ankles up at the top of the leaderboard right now. In third place is Siege. Jackie Wars in fourth. Ariel fifth, and Cass in Six, and they are both tied there. And then one point behind uh, the pair of them is Marshall and 13 with 14 points. Um, excuse me. And then Sadie Longlegs there with 12, Taco Cat with 8. SDK and Bigby rounding out the field is still anybody's game. And now it comes down to who's going to know the technical ins and outs, Ooh. like Ariel there on that ultra cut on Mary Mountain. Beautiful move there with the mushroom. Being able to just get around, going all the way from third to first place. Jackie Wars now is here. Wonder if they're going to go for the sniper. Just play it safe. Probably playing it safe. Does not know what's behind him. But back Big B at the item box. What a move there. Big B going to throw their red shell forward and connect on the King Boo. That's going to be Zaddy Long Legs here. But SDK avoiding the trouble. Playing this like Switzerland right now. But hits the, the wall a little bit. Only gets the single box. Kind of messes up his alignment. But still ends up getting a solid pull there with the triple greens and look at Jack Uars right now just pacing right behind Ariel and we can kind of see maybe there's going to be a blue at some point here so Jack Uars just really kind of buying his time Ariel keeping tabs there on Jack Uars but both of these players have great pulls no reason for them to engage just yet and there you see Ariel going back but guess what Jack has something that Ariel did not know and that's going to be the sound horn yeah you saw Ariel throw the red shell forward because they noticed they had the air horn and, and uh, actually they might have just been throwing it forward just to get rid of it, which was actually a really good play. But unfortunately, Jackie Wars had another piece of defense that got rid of the red and was allowed to disrupt that blue shell. But now it's going to be a drag race between Jackie Wars and Aerial Postal. Banana holding it. Defense. Zabgo going to be able to use that shroom, work their way up to second place. Now it's Jackie Wars and Zabgo here. Going to be able to pop one more shroom, do it one more time. Red shell's going to land on the Zabgo. Jackie Wars avoids a bomb. Didn't and have to use the green there place. on Zavgo. Let's see who ends up getting it. It's still Zavgo for second, but Ariel for third. So it didn't end up changing the running order, but pretty physical ending, though. I don't even know where that bomb came from. I'm going to be honest. I was like, that was kind of mind-blowing just to see an explosion right next to Jackie Wars. But you know what? More props to Jackie Wars being able to finish in first. That's 15 more points. And it's still huge. You know, a really great finish from these regulars. And it's going to be quite interesting to see where all of these other racers are going to be ending up in their point total once we get to the next race. Still plenty of races to go. I mean, a lot of Siege fans in the <laughs> chat still on I Twitch. I love it. And... Yeah, this is going to be really interesting because we're starting to see, and we noticed it over the course of the night, there's been a lot of uh, Wave 3 tracks being picked in the roulette. So. Yeah, last week it was a lot of Wave 3 as well, so maybe something changed. Maybe something, you know, Nintendo said, you know what, we got we to gotta advertise a little bit more as we go to TikTok Clock, original 48 tracks. But it's just one of those things, you know, it, we get lucky some weeks and unlucky other weeks. The randomizer, generous and not generous at the same time. We're going to see how this is going to play out here for some of these players as Zavgo has a two-point lead there over Jack Uars, and we do see a heavy battle for you know, this top six spot. Really, nobody is safe. I keep saying that, but you can look at the scores for yourself up in the top right-hand side of the screen and just wait till that cuts from the top six over to the top seven. 
it's so close. It really is, as Aerial Apostle is going to be the target of said Red Shell. And we're going to be seeing them drop all the way down to 11th place, unfortunately. Working up their way to 10th. Has a Mushroom in hand. Let's see if that's going to help them out at all. Probably just going to roll for some more items in that double item box. Marshall with the triple green is going to be able to take out another competitor without using a green there. That was really interesting. Cass going to get hit by the fire and fall off the track, unfortunately. Not a great start, but still, now you want to focus on getting cool. Coins. Getting to that 10 coins will make it or break it coming down to the second to the third lap. I find it interesting that Big B has chosen to switch to the Donkey Kong Studio loadout as some player there gets bombed. I think that actually was potentially Big B or the player behind. It might have been 13. Shock coming into play. Not going to affect anybody too crazy, but the Taco Cat seems to be moving a little bit faster than everyone after that one. So Zavgo here in third. Going to try to be catching up here to Zaddy and the other player in first, and Herod's first. But look oh. at Zaddy Long Legs. Unfortunately, that drops off, go all the way down to six. That was kind of wild. That was an insane turn. Because you can tell they're trying to go for the counter hop, but then the tires said, no, nope, you're going today. into the off-road. Siege, unfortunately, getting hit there by what could have been a boomerang. But Zaddy Longlegs here in first, formerly known as Zool. And now we're going to see, oh, nice pull there from Zool as the entire field is trailing him. Oh, this is going to be quite interesting. Going into the final section of TikTok O'Clock. We've got Zaddy still in first. No blue shell to be found just yet. Will it come out last second? That's the question. Jackie Bar's trailing right behind him. Has the green. Sees it coming. Throws one forward. The at the line, but still second place for Jackie Wars, first place for Zaddy Longleg. 13 finishing in third. Narrowly was almost able to take out second place there. What a phenomenal ending to that race. Yeah, I really want to give a round of applause to uh, uh, Zaddy Longleg, formerly known as Zool. One of those racers that came with, uh, that just started coming like six months ago and has now just grown so much as a racer. Even taking these baby loadouts and being able to grab first places pretty consistently and being able to just become a very well-rounded racer as time has gone on. I've talked about him time and time again, but I gotta give him a lot of props for just sticking at it, keeping to what they enjoy in this game and just showing you can win with it as we go back to another repick, Choco Mountain. Yeah, I believe, you know, Zaddy Longlegs there in that, like, that post-meta ecosystem. There's been a lot of players there trying to practice the game together in some of the developmental divisions online. And, and it just goes to show, you know, how quickly you can improve. I mean, we were there at, at one point as well, back oh, when yeah. we didn't know what we were oh, doing. It was Man, bad. Nearly four years ago for me, and, and I was told I had to do this, and I didn't, you know, know how to play the game. And, you know, luckily... It was a combination of the Vegas community building everybody up and then also select few online players that were like, you know what, we see a lot of potential here. Let's help these guys. They don't know what they're doing. And now look at us here, what, four years later? And we have it's probably one of the, the most thriving scenes in all the United States of it skilled is. Mario Kart players offline. It is. And I, I just love to be up here and see the improvements happening, right? Week oh, after yeah. week, you can see, okay, this person's using their items a little less uh, sporadically, using these items a little bit better as we saw siege with that triple boomerang snipe beautiful move there sdk unfortunately is now going to be in a very vulnerable position after using the red shell against the air horn fire flower comes out avoids that as well grabs a single item box let's see jaguar is in second place right now trailing a red shell let's see what they're going to be able to do this pack's a little bit spread out but you know what's funny is i was talking to jacob who's one of the, the to's here because he comes from like a you know fps type of background uh -huh. and i was saying if like if siege does play let's to say Rainbow Six Siege, right? Having that ability to know how to arc and angle a snipe is actually very critical and can actually give you a little bit of a leg up on some of these players that just casually play this game. Yeah. So we'll have to see how that'll keep paying off for them here with two races to go. But Ankles here in first. Big breakaway. Jaguar's in second. Blue Shell coming out. What's Ankles going to do? He's got the bananas. But the Shock's going to negate this for him. Oh! 
somehow avoids the shock. I thought the invisibility frames would come up clutch there, and they did. But still, we still got a lot long ways to go for Jackie Wars here in second place. Look at the minimap. Look at the difference. It is absolutely insane here. The lead that Ankles and Jackie Wars has right now is massive. As we got Aerial Apostle here in third place. Going to be able to avoid that green shell. And now Jackie Wars is going to be battling it out for first place. Probably just going to play it a little bit safer. Going wide to avoid the back green shell. Beautiful move there. Air Horn pop. Ankles grabs first. Jackie Wars in second. And we're going to see everybody kind of coming in through there. Ariel's going to be getting third. And it looks like Zaddy Longlegs might be getting fourth there. But man, it, I mean, you just see these numbers, right? And this again, this isn't factoring in the race that just finished. But anybody basically outside of the top two. Jaguars and Zavgo looking pretty safe. Angles with that win. Probably can breathe a little bit easier going to this final race, but everybody else, I mean... Siege is leading a train right now of about six or seven players that can mathematically take those other four spots. Yeah, it's going to be quite interesting because if Siege didn't place well here, you can tell there is going to be a bunch of different racers that can overtake their spot. 13 even, Zaddy being on the cutting room floor, Ariel being on the cutting room floor as well. So it's going to come down to this final race to see who's going to be making it to grand finals. And it's going to come down to Bowser's Castle, which is a track. rough track. Yeah, this track, it's very favored amongst the Latin American community here in Mario Kart because a lot of them are very good on inside drifting bikes. Not sure if you know, that might just be a preference for them. But what's crazy about this track is there's lots of double apex turns. You've got the shortcuts. you got that wide gap. You also can take different cuts and different split paths here. So a lot of things can change. And what, look at these scores, Pidgey. Top right hand side. Oh my god. Top three are basically guaranteed in almost. And then four, five, and six. Daddy Longlegs, Ariel, and 13 all separated by a point of each other. Siege oh. is going to be about four points back. Marshall and Cass also have a path if those other four players get bottom spots and Marshall and Cass can somehow win. We have again like six players fighting for four spots. Yeah, it's going to be kind of ridiculous and with how difficult a track Bowser's Castle really is when it comes down to it, you want to race your heart out and try and not get hit as we're seeing 13 do right there. Unfortunately, could not avoid the bomb there and it's really hard to get to 10 points on this track as well. So you really want to try and secure these really great racing lines to get a top six spot and secure your spot in the grand final. Lots of players getting hit here. You also do have to avoid coming up here as we see Zaddy Longlegs getting hit out. The uh, Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball of Doom, but I like to call it. That's Cass getting right around it there in second place. Her life is on the line here in this tournament. So she is in a pretty solid position right now with her item set, just trying to make things happen. Oh, we're seeing Jackie Bars unfortunately getting one of their items ghosted, but still is able to keep their spot in third place. Going to see him go through that double item box and now throwing one forward. Going to target first place was actually a huge move with the fact that now first place pretty vulnerable but still going to be able to go through that item box. That was actually huge for Cass. The game probably was still registered being on the other path but has to be careful of the items behind as she hits a laser. That's still going to allow her to keep oh. her... Oh boy. Well, it was going to allow her to keep her bananas but she's already fallen all the way back. First place is checked out though but it's anyone's match here for second on back in this race. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of that mid-pack. Look at that, on top of each other. You can't even tell who's in what spot, really, because of how close this pack is. But now it's separating, being becoming more disconnected. Aerial Apostle now in second place, has a red, has the opportunity to take out Forrest. Does not trail, does not roll new items. And now we're going to be seeing Ankles just secure a first place finish. Aerial not taking any chances here. Blue Shell is out, going to throw their item forward and wait for that blue to target Ariel here. Shot Whoa, comes huge out. shot coming into play. Keep an eye out on the back of the pack. Last was Siege, but I don't know if that's going to change the running order, though. Uh, man, that was an interesting time shock. I'm we'll hearing a lot see. of sadness down there on the stage. Sadness. So I, I do not know how well Siege did, but still, got to give him a round of applause, honestly. Was doing extremely, like, consistently through all these races and was able to keep their own for the first time being here. I mean, honestly, really great work for Siege. Top 24 out of 66 players. I mean, what more Ridiculous. can you ask for in your first try? I know. Having the home track advantage, you're essentially bringing your crew into the Twitch chat and in person. So...
We'll have to see, you know, how things shake out. Uh, but man, what an incredible set of semifinals! I, I've never enjoyed like, well, I, that's a, I shouldn't phrase it like that. I don't think I've ever enjoyed watching semifinals more than I have tonight. Oh yeah, no, it's in been so memory. exciting. And we got the highlights to show what excitement just went down in this one. We got ankles here getting ready at the last second. Airhorn comes out, does not connect on Zavgo, and they are able to grab that first place finish. Big B is now here, unfortunately, getting a trap and going into the off road, could not control the. Scooty, and now we're seeing Ariel Apostle throwing the red forward, trying to disrupt Jackie Wars' air horn there in case they had something. Jackie Wars now being able to avoid that. Almost lands the green shell snipe at the line, but unfortunately, you know what? Waluigi got to work out the arm a little bit, using that green shell, landing it, battling it out. Ankles now just waiting for that blue shell to connect on Ariel. Shot comes out on that final race, and we'll get your scores very, very soon to see who is going on to grand finals. What a crazy set of races. I mean, just getting into the top 24 tonight is a huge testament to your skill and placing so well in such a wide range of qualifiers. I mean, when's the last time we even had like a, a six qualifier SNS? It's probably been at least several months, probably like five I'd or say six. About, no, I'd say about a couple months. Yeah, a couple actually, months, right? A couple months, yeah, yeah, actually. So it's been a really exciting one, and we do got the points ready for you. Okay. Let's see who's moving on. We got the top six. First place finishes. Jackie Wars in first with 66 points. Ankles in second in, with 63 points. Zavgo in third with 52. Ariel Postel in fourth with 50. Zaddy Longlegs in fifth with 48. 13 in sixth with 44. And then there's Marshall in seventh and tying with I've Streaming Siege, who unfortunately did not make it very barely in a uh, tying for seventh place with 36 points. Cast in ninth with 32 points. Taco Cat in 10th. SDK in 11th and Big B in 12th.